The young baby was left alone on the beach. The father had been packing things without realizing the danger coming. Suddenly the waves came, a little bit of the cradle silently sucked into the sea. When he found this scene immediately fright and panic, he ran desperately to the sea to save his son. With the help of his friends, he paddled a wooden boat to catch up with a distant cradle. However, the sky was suddenly filled with dark clouds. A storm was about to hit. Hugh's heart became more anxious. It is unbelievable that the cradle was actually swimming against the current in the sea. Its speed is much faster than the speed of the boat. As the storm approached, the baby Jim slowly disappears from Hugh's sight. Jim's strange disappearance combined with the legend of the deserted island for many years. So all the islanders had no choice but to leave Nish Island, where they have lived for generations. Jim's grandparents had grown accustomed to the island, so they moved to the opposite island to continue their lives. But Tess was always sad. She had been missing her only grandson for years, and Hugh returned to the bustling city to make ends meet. He sent his daughter to live with her grandparents on an island in the west of Ireland. Fiona knows she once had a dark-haired brother, she learned it through her cousin Jack that someone claimed to have seen Jim near Nish Island. He Saturday at the end of his cradle and sailed like a captain. There were always seals around to protect Jim. As soon as someone approached, Jim would immediately disappear into the splash of water. He was as mysterious as a phantom. But that's just a legend. Jack didn't want Fiona to mention it to avoid bringing up Tess sadness. Fiona kept it to herself. She used to look across to Nish Island and stare. Finally, one day, Fiona was able to get on her grandfather Michael's boat. They were going across to Nish Island to catch fish. When they were about to reach their destination, Michael told her that Nish Island was originally an island of seals, but a group of people moved in and drove the seals away. Now the islanders have moved away. Nish Island is once again home to seals. They landed on the island. Michael pointed out the house. He used to live in and told Fiona, the room on the far right is where she lived as a child. Fiona felt a sense of closeness to this place. At this point Michael instructs her not to go too far. They were to go to the reef first to cast their nets and catch fish. Fiona slowly walked into her former home with excitement and curiosity. As soon as she entered the room, she saw fresh seaweed on the bed. Then she found him burned firewood on the floor. There were also some scattered shells and playthings. There seemed to be traces of a child who had been here until she noticed the baby's footprints on the beach. Fiona vaguely thinks they must be her brother Jim's footprints, but soon the waves destroyed everything. But Fiona doesn't tell Michael about it. She asks for more stories about Nish Island from the sidelines. Fiona couldn't resist telling Jack what she'd found when she got back. It was clear that Jack didn't believe her. Although Fiona was adamant that she had seen footprints, Liam found the half-human, half-animal silver seal on the island. The silver seal on the reef was slowly shedding its skin. A woman emerged from the seal's skin. As the arms and legs bound by the sticky juice gradually spread out, a whole woman appeared before his eyes. Liam had never seen such a beautiful woman in his life. It is said that whoever can get the skin of a silver seal will gain its power, so Liam swam quietly to steal the seal's coat. However, he was impressed by the beautiful appearance of the woman in front of him. Liam was able to bring the seal woman back to Nish Island. The first people who moved to Nish Island were curious about the woman who appeared out of nowhere. They would often see her wandering alone on the beach. She kept staring quietly at the seals in the water. Over time, she finally became pregnant with Liam's first child. Liam made a special cradle at his wife's request. When the sea was clear of wind and waves, they put the baby into the cradle on the beach, and the sound of the waves became an invisible lullaby. The baby also enjoyed the moment of swaying in the sea. Years later their love grew stronger and stronger, and many children were born. But the woman continued to stare at the sea every day. Until this day, her daughter made an unintentional remark that changed everything in Instantly. Curiously, she asked her mother, why does daddy have a leather jacket hidden on the roof? This remark made her mother suddenly realize something. She was so excited, she handed the baby to her daughter and immediately got up and ran away. When Liam returned from his fishing trip, there was a lone seal following the boat. Liam had a bad feeling because the seal's eyes reflected an inexplicable sadness. After Liam landed, the look on the children's faces told him that all his fears and worries were true. For once the silver seal regains its skin, neither chains nor shackles of love could stop them from returning to the sea. Liam knew that nothing could be undone. From now on, every newborn baby will be placed in a cradle and rocked by the waves. And in every future generation, a dark-haired man will appear. The man in front of her is a rare black-eyed, black-haired generation, just like Fiona's brother. 
the legend he told was something Fiona had never heard of. Fiona's various questions once again made Tess feel sad. Because Tess could never forget Jim's deep black eyes, she could never forget the scene of the young Jim being swept away by the waves. That's why they left Nish Island, which broke their hearts. But Fiona was always curious about Nish Island. She even ventured to follow Jack to Nish Island to catch fish. They agreed to meet in the evening at a fixed location. Then Fiona went back to Nish Island alone. She looked around for any sign that her brother Jim might have left behind. Just as Fiona was about to leave, disappointed to find nothing, she suddenly spotted Jim on the grass in the distance. Fiona's sudden appearance startled Jim. She shouted Jim's name. However, Fiona's sudden appearance frightened Jim. He ran to the sea cliff as fast as he could. No matter how much Fiona shouted her brother's name, Jim still did not hesitate to jump. When Fiona arrived, she only saw the back of Jim's departure. Even though Fiona didn't give up trying to get Jim back to her, Fiona finally saw her brother, who had been swept away by the waves years before. On Nish Island, just like the legend says, the young Jim disappeared into the sea as soon as he met a human. Although Jack believed her words, but he wanted to avoid the punishment of taking Fiona to sea, they first agreed not to tell the adults about the incident. However, a few days later, a strange thing happened. Fiona seems to see a seal in the water on a foggy day. She had always been curious about the previous legend. When Fiona boarded the boat to get up close and personal with the seal, she didn't realize that the ropes that bound her to the boat had somehow broken off. By the time she realized it, she had already drifted far away. Fiona shouted for help, but there was no passing islander nearby. That's when she saw the seal swimming by. As she slowly drifted out to sea, more and more seals appeared in front of her. And so it was. Fiona drifted with the waves in her boat. Finally she reached the island of Nish. It was only after she landed safely on the island, the seals gradually left. Fiona couldn't wait to get to the place where she first saw Jim. But no matter how much she called out, she couldn't see Jim. But in the late afternoon, Fiona accidentally found the cradle left on the beach. This makes her very happy. But as soon as Fiona saw Jim playing through the window, the keen seal next to him noticed something unusual. Jim, just like last time, seems to be on high alert for all humans. Once again, he darted out to sea. Fiona cries out helplessly from the beach. It wasn't until late at night, Michael found the island of Nish. But before Michael could even begin to reprimand her, Fiona told him all about her visit to Nish Island and about seeing Jim. Although Michael didn't believe everything she said, but when he saw the rope, he was confused and said that the seal had indeed done it. When she returned, Fiona was scolded by Tess. Poor Fiona was afraid to tell Tess what she had seen on Nish Island. And so it went on for several days. One day after the storm and the future, Fiona inadvertently said, I wish Jim could come in and hide from the rain. Tess asked her what she was talking about. Then Fiona told the whole story of how she had met Jim twice before. But Michael always thought it was all just a dream that Fiona had until she told him about the seal. Tess began to get excited. When Tess confirmed that Fiona really saw the seal, she left. Tess went back and kept packing her things because she believed Fiona's story. Tess couldn't bear to let her young grandson sleep in the cold house. Fiona finally got her wish and followed her grandparents back to Nish Island. When they arrived at their former home, Tess was worried about Jim when Fiona suddenly saw a seal on the beach. When they stepped outside they saw baby Jim had rode to the beach with his cradle. The poor boy was shivering from the cold, but Fiona's cry startled Jim again. He struggled to push the cradle into the sea, but then a miracle happened. Several seals ran towards Jim with ferocity. Their uncharacteristic behavior scared Jim into retreating. Then the other seals slowly pushed the cradle into the sea. The seals wanted Jim to stay on the island. At this point Tess could no longer control. Jim, with the help of the seals, finally returned to Tess' embrace. The seals were relieved to see this scene and returned to the sea. They jumped and walked towards their home. In fact, the film's commentary cut out a lot of images of humans killing seals indiscriminately. These scenes have aroused strong opposition from many people. Perhaps the director is also calling for only when humans and animals live together in harmony, the whole world will be a better place. This healing Irish film features a fairyland-like island and a smart, beautiful girl. 